Yarmy matey, welcome back to Command Wolf Gaming. I'm CWG, and welcome to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. That is right, folks. We finally got the pirate faction. As we can see here on this lovely map here, all across the lands, everybody is shouting, Yay, pirates! And, uh, yeah, we got a whole new fleet to deal with. We got some bomb throwers, we got harpooners, we got cannoneers, and we got, uh, uh, flintlocks, and, uh, we got blunderbusters, and we got, uh, the pirate captain and the pirate queen herself. Now, there actually is some more hidden units, and I think one's gonna be back here in this, uh, lovely waterfall here. And the reason why I say that is because... That in all the pirate movies that I've seen, they always hide something behind a waterfall. So let's uh, just check this out real quick and see what's behind here. Hello, anybody in here? Oh, whoa, oh, hello. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, who's this? It's Blackbeard, I tell you. Oh, and he's a secret unit, I tell you. Woohoo! Blackbeard, the mighty pirate king, who ruled the Caribbean with an iron fist and was the most to notorious of all. Rest the Blackbeard of old. And let's go see some other new units. Whoop. <laughs> um, now, let's see what else we got here. Okay. I'm expecting something like Davy Jones underneath the water or something like that. You know, just... Uh, it's kind of like, a, oh, wait, why is there, I, this is actually, uh, uh, uh foggy to me too, guys, so, th oh, he is a secret unit. Is it Davy Jones? No, it's just clams. Well, that's disappointing. Uh, what else that we got here? We got, wait a minute, that's a chicken. That's a chicken, chicken, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, uh, do we have anything on the table? Oh, looks like we do have something on the table. <laughs> that was an explosive introduction. Uh, oh, chicken. Chick wow, that is a refined chicken. Um, let's see. Oh, hell, white feather. Yeah, he's actually got a proper statue now. Um, let's see. Is there anything over here? A lot of empty chests, to say the least. Anything else in the world? I want a Davy Jones. I want a Davy Jones with a Kraken. And have the Kraken attack people. Because that's interesting. Hey, look! There's another cannon over here. Oh, it's a secret cannon. Apparently. <laughs> Woo, boy. Uh, the bomb cannon. Woo! All right. So, um, well, I, I wanted to uh, kind of try out some of these uh, pirates, first of all, in, in the secret units. And see how they do against the other units. So we're just gonna clear them off for now, and we're just got the flintlock pistol, right? So a lot of these guys are just ranged unit. Uh, obviously, the pirate queen, uh, queen and captain look like they aren't. Uh, they do have like a melee aspect to it, and actually, even the harpooner, he has his cutlass strapped to, I guess, the harpoon cannon, right? Uh, so let's see. We got the flintlocker, and we're just gonna do him against the clubber. And let's see. Well, he is powerful, but let's see how he does against uh, two clubbers. Fire! You missed both shot. Okay, so he totally disregards his uh, pistols. Is that purposeful or is that. Okay. Okay, so he does only get one shot each. <clears throat> And he's very weak in health-wise. So, let's see if we can, uh... Okay, yeah. So, as soon as he drops his uh, pistols, you're done for. So, he's a one-shotter. One-shotter, I gotta say. One-shotter! Okay, let's try the Blunderbuster. Again, we're gonna do him against... Actually, we'll put him something against, uh... Let's see. Dynast? No. We'll put him against a authentic shield bearer. Now, a Blunderbust! is actually <clears throat> a sh 
precursor shotgun, to say the least. Uh, because they really just jammed whatever they could in the end of that barrel and just fired across. Like, broken nails, glass, you know, stuff like that. Um, and wow, he is kind of decked out like the hay builder. In fact, you know what? Let's put him against the hay builder instead. Hay builder, attack! <laughs> wow! The hay builder is actually really good against range units because of the hay bale, but oh my dear lord, he... He not only one-shot the guy, but he went flying himself. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, let's see what he does against two hay builders. He missed the one. How is his health? Okay, he took a second shot. Okay, he did. So if you miss that first shot, he's kind of over and done with. Oh, maybe it is a spread shot. Maybe that's what it, it's going on. It's not just a so one shot solid round. It's, I think it is a spread shot. So let's see. Okay. Why is he having it? Like he one shotted the other one before. Oh, well, he finally killed one. His health is extremely low, though. Oh, God. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> I just find he gets get thrown back. That's funny as heck. Alright, so we he can he's capable of doing one shot, but he's totally incapable of being normal. Uh okay, so we got the bomb thrower now. Uh and let's put him against I don't know, let's bunch of halflings. I feel like that's a good thing. So Throw your bombs, bomb thrower! Oh, okay, so there is a slight delay. It seems like it just kind of like bounced off them. Hold on, let's put them against something. Just three little shield bearers all in a row. Okay, he takes a while to reload. Okay. And he did win that. Okay, so... He has, he, he's, uh, whatchamacallit, I think he, uh, we can classify him as a glass cannon. And the reason why I say glass cannon is because that he has high damage output, but he probably has a weak offensive ability, right? I mean, defensive ability. As you can see, you know, in a couple shots, he's almost already, you know, down to nothing. Yeah, he takes like four shots in the face and he's dead. So, glass cannon it is. Uh, <clears throat> what else do we got here? The harpooner. Let's just do it against one shield bearer. Woo! He actually fire. Oh ho ho ho! He fires a long harpoon. That is a wicked harpoon too. I wonder if I can catch it in slow motion. Hold on, let's, let's try this again. Fire the harpoon. Oh, yeah. It is definitely looks like a harpoon. I don't know if it's a traditional harpoon. And then he drags him back. And then he stabs him with the the, the sword on the end of his uh, cannon. Okay, cool. Um, let's see. A cannonball. Okay. Let's, let's, let's try this against... Uh, we're going to put him against a couple rows of this yes just like that fire the cannon oh that doesn't look promising yeah it's he's only taking one uh pe person down at a time whoa he just sunk himself into the water no don't don't <laughs> Okay, so it looks like he's only a pretty much a sniping unit, you know, to take out key units. Um, you know what? While we have this many people out, let's go against uh, not the Blackbeard bomb cannon. Let's see how that does. Oh my dear lord! That was incredible. And <laughs> the guy's doing a trick on the cannon. He's like, "This cannon's hot. Why am I not on the cannon?" <laughs> okay. Blue victory! That's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so we can say the bomb again is actually OP! Uh, even though that's not part of the regular units. Let's, let's see how they do against a regular 
pirate captain. Yar! Take care of them. Yar! Kill them. Kill them all. Kill them all with your cut of flintlock pistols and your cutlass abroad. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. He's actually doing really good for being stuck in between the shield bearers. And I think he's having an even harder time. Okay. You know, let's cancel out some of these guys here. Let's see how he does against regular batch. You know. Okay. So he did... So, we can say the shield bearers are anything that's good against uh, range units. Uh, you know, they can take a wallop. Uh, oh my god, the pirate captain, he just kicks, he punches, he throws his sword. Where is this shield bearer going? He just walked himself into the sea. <laughs> oh my god, he it's like a mini blunderbuss. Because look, look, look at all the little black pellets coming out. <laughs> He's carrying a mini blunderbuss, okay. All right, one more. The Pirate Queen. Let's see how she does. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. She's doing good. Oh, she, whoa. Yellow. <laughs> wow, okay. She is a definitely contender for the top rankers. Okay, so let's get into the actual uh, campaign a little bit, and then we can observe the rest. Okay, we're on the first map. We can't use our pirate brethren, but we can sure use the Renaissance, who will actually boast a high attack. But we're actually going to use hoplites instead. The reason being is because these guys only got uh, one-shot hitters right here, so we're going to use a batch of shield bears like so, and then we're going to use hoplites, right? Because we want to absorb as much damage as possible. Then, do whoa, hello! Uh deal as much damage as possible and as we can see the flint lockers are already firing upon our en uh, enemies i don't think uh or the flint lockers are firing upon our team but uh, our team is holding up wow okay so uh the flint lockers do actually do have good uh uppercut ability they're like uh was it falcon punch okay you got one more two more guys oh he got sucker punched Okay, so maybe that was not a good idea. Uh, maybe we can just do... How about we can do just medieval archers? Right? Because they certainly have range. It will be range against range, and they got longer range than the flintlockers. Um, come on, guys. You can do it. Oh, my dear lord. These guys are going to be taken out one by one. This ain't good. Nope. Okay, that didn't work. All right, I'm totally goofing around, guys. You know, it's, it's it is what it is. So, let's put a whole bunch of spearmen instead. Spear throwers, go! Throw your spears. Throw your javelins of truth and justice. Kill these um manners pistols. Uh, you know what? Let's do uh, pirates against pirates. Vikings are actually a classification. Call um, but because they're not pirates they're it, well, they are pirates, but it's more like a job description, honestly uh, So they technically are pirates, but not pirates, you know, okay So because they if they're they were also farmers and craftsmen and stuff like that, but why okay, uh, whatever Oh, the berserker ran in here. <laughs> there we go so we got old pirates versus new pirates, and it looks like the old pirates are actually doing one heck of a job. I typically don't use the Vikings, but uh, yeah, wow, okay, that's cool. Oh, my dear lord. So apparently, they decided to change up the map so that we got less room. They're about to board our ship, me laddies. Deploy the Valkyries. Let the Valkyries rain through on them and destroy them, ever living beings. Whoop! Okay, well, they're doing ac actually horrible. Actually, not that bad now. Now that they whittled down the numbers, right? But I think the blunderbuss meant it caused them a little bit of trouble. Okay, well, we won again! Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, you're gonna do this to me, eh? 
So let's go like this. That, that, that. Uh huh. All the way around. Like so. Then we're gonna. Maybe we should do like. No, we can't afford the Monkey King. But. We can certainly afford a Jaro. And two Ice Archers. Go! So we know that the Vikings are gonna get pulled in by the Harpooners, which actually they uh, got taken out pretty dang quickly, unfortunately. Oh, kid. Whoa! Swing your partner round and round. Jaro, take care of them! You have the highest amount of health! You're getting pulled in four different directions. Okay, he's taking care of the harpooners one after the other, and they're just dragging him uh, to them for their own doom, and he died. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe not this guy, but maybe we should do the regular shield bearers. And I say the regular shield bearers to throw these guys off, and we'll put them... Actually, you know what? Let's back them up a little bit, right? Because then these guys have to, the line has to go out to them and then have to come all the way back. There we go. Not a perfect circle, but it kind of works, right? And then we can do, can we do musketeers? Oh, maybe we could do musketeers. Yeah, let's do musketeers. And then maybe a fencer. Huzzah! Okay, the shield bearers all got taken out in the first wave. We already got one of the harpooners down. Oh my god, the fl uh, flintlock uh, musketeers. Oh yeah, now nope, that ain't gonna work. Okay, maybe the musketeers are not gonna work because of the setup. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, how about let's do a couple jarls here. We'll do one in a two. Then we do some... Uh, actually, you know what? We can do... Yeah, we can do Berserkers. Let's do Berserkers in the middle, right? Like so. Because these guys are going to be distracting enough with the Shield Bearers. Because those are the first guys, right? Oh, my dear lord. Okay. So, it looks like the Berserkers are going in there. They're going in there deep and strong. <laughs> oh, well, we got one Shield Bearer left. Oh, we got a couple of Berserkers left over here in the Shield Bearers. Oh, guys. Guys, just don't jump in the water. Just don't jump in the water. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes, good. Oh, God. He got uppercutted. Who's this? Okay. Whoa. Hello. Defeat. Oh, that was inevitable. Um, wait a minute. We don't have a shield bearer up here. What the heck? Let's put an... Oh, I was going to put a knight. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's put a brawler up here instead. Take the damage. Yes. See, it's kind of bad because once the harpooners get a hold of, you, of the character, they just drag them in unconditionally and it opens up all their defenses. But in the same respect... You know, they have a harder t uh, time against shield bearers because the shield bearer, obviously, because they have a defensive thing. Okay, maybe the berserker is not the choice for this. Maybe, ooh, we can do Valkyries. Let the Valkyries ride! Uh, what's that song? Ride of the Valkyries? Maybe I'll put that here. Okay, okay, they're doing good. Now, we gotta watch these Valkyries over open water because, uh... Like, at one time, like, they have a problem with the, you know, edges. Okay, good. We won that victory. Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? The ship. The ship, the ship, the big, the big booty ship. Okay, uh, so, looks like we're being boarded. So, let's deploy our troops aplenty. They want to board our ship. They're going to have to go through our mighty Viking fleet. Yar, attack me, laddies, attack. Whoa, hello. Okay, that's, uh... Okay. Yeah, that ain't going... Okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> okay, uh... Maybe we do... A jouster down there and a jouster down there, right? And then we only have... We can do that, right? The ballooners. That's right. Let the jousters rain death in the ranks. 
And the Ballooners are actually doing good. Well, kind of good. Not entirely good. Oh, they got a weight issue, too. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. Well, he died anyway. <laughs> All right. So we're at the captain. The captain. The captain of death and justice. I can do a tank, but that won't do anything for me. How about we do... I wonder if we can do anything with ice archers. Let's just put like ice archers up here and here behind the bulwark. Then we'll do this standard, you know, shield wall of Vikings. And then we'll do, obviously we need a Viking captain of justice and destruction. And we'll do another row of Vikings, right? Um, I don't know. Let's try that. I'm trying to stick to the Vikings. Why'd you attack your own ally, you morons? Oh my god. Wow, there is a lot of chaos going on here. Will the general take out the captain? Oh, he got hit by a cannonball and survived. Oh, whoa. Hello. He, he went overboard. Uh, I think the eyes are just going to have a harder time here. And they're just walking off the plank like a moron. Okay, somebody's still alive. Where are they? Are they stuck underneath here? Oh, yeah, they are. Hello! Ah! Okay, they got stuck underneath the, the mark here. Okay, so maybe these guys are not the best choice. We need a heavier unit. A heavier tanky type unit. Um, And that calls for Zeus. That's right. Zeus, the mighty Zeus of destruction and wonder. And you know what? We'll provide him with the God, the Monkey King. Let's. Wow, Zeus just went flying over. The... <laughs> that was a. Oh my dear lord. That was a one shot over. Like. That was a once in a lifetime opportunity there. And I th the biggest issue is because of knockback. That's what we're actually getting. Like. The knockback on these cannons. Jesus. Okay. So. We need a bigger unit. Yeah. Uh, we can do knights. Because knights are pretty brawny, right? And we'll just do the central gangplank. And we can do a couple of healers, right? Let's see how they do. Okay, so. They, okay, yeah. They're doing actually pretty good. Well, so far, so good. Oh, no. Well, the captain's down. That's good. Whoa! Hello. Goodbye. Oh, they have bombers, too. Why didn't I see that? Oh, come on. Really? Right there, dude. Okay, so maybe not using ballistas is a good choice. Maybe... Can do that and that. Let's just completely go like this. Maybe that will work. Oh my God! Just just worked. I just uh, I just accompanied the initial charge down because I wanted to make sure that it did work. <laughs> that worked. The gestures worked! Yes! <laughs> Alright, next map. Oh, now we're doing the boarding. We forced you back to your briny cannons. Now we will charge up your uh, thing and destroy you. Because we can't. Okay. And we'll... One volley. One volley. And that's it. Oh, yeah, this is working. Not working the way I want to, but it's working enough. The harpooner, he got hold of the Da Vinci tank. He can't move for poop. Uh, but the Da Vinci tank did get destroyed by the cannons. Oh, God. You guys got to perform sniping. Hide behind the tank. Oh, 
I think that's everyone. Nope, there is. Nope, that guy's still stuck. Are you gonna sneak over here this way? Ooh, that guy's still alive. Is he still alive? No, he just got ran over. Oh, my dear lord. Uh, yeah, surrounded. That ain't good. A lot of harpooners, a lot of people with the cannons and stuff. Uh, maybe we'll do turtle formation. Turtle formation! That's right. Run at these scallywags and raise them to the ground. Okay, so it looks like they're doing good. The cannons are stuck. That is actually a good uh, key point here. Because with cannons being stuck, they only have a certain amount of maneuverability, which just allows their Spartans to remove them from their cannons. Ooh. What is this one called? Traitors. Ooh. I want to do this round, but we're going to leave it off until next episode. Thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. Hope you enjoy the footage. If you have any comments or suggestions, if you want to see like a certain unit versus a certain unit, right? Uh, leave it down below in the comment section. I want to hear from you guys. And honestly, I'm so happy we got the pirates. Yeah, the pirates been waiting for so long to show. <laughs> uh, I thought it was just the raptors and shelter, but no, the pirates came the day after I did that episode, but... Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today here on Command Wolf Gaming. Hope you enjoyed the footage. As always, like, subscribe, and share. Spread the love, and I hope to see you next time here on Command Wolf Gaming. <laughs> Now, now keep, keep your hand, hand off that, that mouse, folks. folks. We, we have, have so, so much, much more fun and exciting content on this channel that, that you guys and guys are missing out on that, that it's not funny. funny. So, so all you have, have to do is hit the big red subscribe, subscribe button right, right down, down below this video. video. Also, also remember, remember to hit the, the bell, bell notification bell. button. You can't miss it. It looks like the Taco Bell bell, just without any color. And with doing that, you are officially subscribed to my channel, Commander Wolf Gaming, and will receive notifications on when new material is up on my channel for you guys and guys to view and enjoy. If you like what we are doing, Hit the, hit the thumbs, thumbs up, up button, button. if not hit, hit the, the thumbs, thumbs down, down button. button but remember to always leave a comment or a suggestion down below in the comment section i want to know what you think and i want to hear what you guys and gals want to see in the gameplay but as always folks like subscribe share and spread the love and i hope to see you guys next time here on come in wolf gaming